So what influence does the media have on one's political beliefs? So some background. The concept of false news has existed dating back to World War I. Governments during the First World War devoted massive resources and huge amounts of effort to producing material designed to shape opinion and action internationally. This means that the government will spread inaccurate information in order to change the minds of its citizens. Back then it was known as propaganda, but today it is called fake news given its name by Donald Trump during his 2016 presidential election. My claim is that the media is pushing its political agenda on its audience through false and biased information, or can this be a liberal bias or a conservative bias? So our stimulus sources, first is Edward Kessler. Sites such as Facebook and Twitter have no editors and users are expected to edit inappropriate or inaccurate content. Due to no editors, fake news can be distributed more frequently. As a result, the public is being fed wrong information and believing it. This is a disadvantage to Americans and they must demand change because they are being lied to. Americans should look to Martin Luther King on how to address this solution. The purpose of our direct action program is to create a situation to a crisis pact that it will inevitably open the door to negotiation. In this quote, Martin Luther King is discussing the segregation of whites and blacks. Although the acts of racism and fake news are drastically different from each other, the passion Americans should have about creating a solution should be similar. Americans must insist change because many are being lied to as a result of fake, change, of fake news. First are social ones, diamond and silk. Diamond and silk are a pair of sisters who are ex-Democrats and they show their support for Donald Trump through their Facebook videos. However, their content was deemed unsafe, although it broke none of Facebook rules. This is per this means that someone in Facebook corporate is preventing Facebook members from seeing their content and other Facebook members from seeing issues such as gun control or abortion from a conservative point of view. And as a result, Americans aren't getting both sides of an issue. So the celebrities influence. Many people idolize celebrities and look up to celebrities, which give them an influence. And if one admires a celebrity, one is more likely to comply or agree with said celebrity. And once again, celebrities are known as being more liberal and democratic. So Americans are only getting one perspective of an issue. So according to Sacred Heart University Polling Institute, 95.3% of its respondents said that the media is pushing their own political agenda onto its audience, and 83.6% say that media organizations are very or somewhat biased. This is just proof that fake and biased news is catching the eyes of Americans, and it can lead to a possible solution. So political lines. So social media is one way for politicians to run their campaigns, and it's well known that Donald Trump has used Twitter to argue his political political views, and politicians, liberal politicians such as Beto O'Rourke and Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, Cortez um, uses as another way to run their campaigns through Twitter, and this is also another way politicians can reach a bigger audience in a faster and more effective time. Also, this is unbiased because it's coming from the source directly, so there isn't you know, any media stations to twist their words or make it sound not exact. So past funding to the media, the CBP's federal appropriation is $430 million, approximately 95% percent of which was redistributed to the various public media outlet, outlets. CBP are all bastions of liberalism and do not deserve to be sustained with taxpayer money. This means that when more money is given to a media organization, they become more influential and they can abuse this power to report false and biased news. 
and thus funding uh, media stations would not be an effective solution. So, according to a new report by University of Virginia Center for Politics, 40% of voters are Democrats, 29% are Republicans, 28% are Independents, and this could be a result of liberal bias news due to the presence of social media in everyday life. And although being a liberal or Democrat may not be bad, still Americans are not seeing both sides of fake news. So where's the balance? Um, due to the large amount of liberal bias, conservative activists need to state their opinion as well. So people such as Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, and Glenn Beck are called to report conservative news from this via social media or Fox News. So some solutions. Um, the main problem is that people are only watching the news they agree with. So um, the majority of people who watch Fox News are Republican, and the majority who watch CNN are Democrat, Democrats, and, and MSNBC are Democrat as well. The solution would be providing a survey at the bottom of an article where users can report possible false information. However, not all users will participate in the survey, and people who disagree with the article could report it as false 